Okay, we just finished the installation of the HFL crop dividers that are big car ready on this 2018 Aggie STS-12. Um, technician should figure with no experience, uh, one person and an extra hand accomplish this in about two hours. Um, what we haven't done is route any harnessing, but uh, uh, standard procedure is going to uh, route the harnessing uh, up the tube follow this portion of the tube here and then you're going to follow the hydraulic forces into the cab environment. So we haven't done any of the electronic install, that's going to come next. Um, probably figure uh, an experienced technician can accomplish that installation in about two hours. So total installation for somebody once they have a little bit of experience you should be able to get this done. And Once you have this bracket assembly in place, there's four M18 um, 1.5 pitch on the thread, two inch bolts that come in from the backside. From the factory, these plates here are pre-drilled and pre-threaded. So we're running the hardware right through with a split, uh, split lock washer on the back. And then um, you get in there with a, a ratchet and you can get these properly torqued on four places all right so once you have them in place then we're going to come up front here and we're going to add our our standard bracket it's going to go right in this position here and we've got uh, hardware to put that in place so we'll do that next so once we have the bracket in place we've got our four nuts and bolts with uh, flat washers and split block washers in place. We'll get these to torque. You notice we had our little our, uh, level on here to make sure that we're plumb. And uh, we'll get these tightened up. Okay, once we have our standard assembly in place, we're gonna put our pivot tube in. It's up to the operator to decide the height that he wants to run that at. You have four options. We're gonna go just below. Get that in place. You can lock it in with the powder pin on the back side here. Once we have that in place, we can put our adjustment in. I like to put them just about level, or just above level, and should be consistent probably on both sides. So we got that in place, and again, we'll put a cotter pin on the back side. Now we're gonna come around and add our hoop. Place. Set that height. Yeah. This particular setup, we're going to go 12 inches. It's going to be dependent upon the, the corn and the terrain, field terrain. You want to run as low as you can safely. Then we're going to true it up on the tire.
Okay, the only thing we have left to do is to put our tax sensor on. Take a look at it, and uh, hopefully this is helpful for those of you that are interested in this product or you're going to be installing it.